Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host Nathan P. Butler. This time we circle back to something similar to what we saw in the last episode, which was SPFX, The Empire Strikes Back, on its own VHS cassette rather than a double feature with making of Star Wars coming out of the UK. Over here, it didn't get that kind of attention. It didn't get its own separate VHS release. It was always just packed in as a double feature with the previously existing special. Well, it turns out the UK was not the only place that gave it its due, so to speak. So did Australia. And that we'll look at here. Again, another item coming into my collection thanks to the generosity of Matt Fry. Very cool looking cover here compared to that UK one. There's the UK one. I mean, it's an okay, kind of different cover. I think this one looks a little cooler, though. This is the one from Australia. Black clamshell case kind of thing here, so kind of big. Vader there with SPFX, The Empire Strikes Back. Little tiny copyright. CBS Fox Video, rating of G. Spine, CBS Fox Video, SPFX, The Empire Strikes Back, VHS product number, CBS Fox Video. The back, CBS Fox Video, few images there. Um, oddly enough, this is focusing on The Empire Strikes Back, but one of the images is an image not from the film, but one of the promotional images there for A New Hope, whatever. A captivating behind-the-scenes special. Yeah, same thing it says on the top of the UK one. Information about it, cast crew information, legalese there, rated G, runtime, color, C-O-L-O-U-R, more legalese down there at the bottom. This was actually initially released in 1984, so same year as this one from the UK. Again, big, big clamshell case, like the CBS Fox video thing built into the packaging, though. Same thing. I didn't show you last time, but same thing there for the one from the UK. So kind of neat there. Again, a lot of uh, rental market stuff as opposed to uh, sell-through stuff for a while there. And here's your cassette. That appears to be a stamp that says CBS something. I'm not sure if that's actually originally on all copies or something that a rental place did. Probably a rental place, I would guess. Um, interestingly, the label here, which has some stuff from a previous rental place and whatnot on it, St. Kilda Video. Uh, actually, the whole label is basically copyright stuff. It doesn't even say the title of the friggin' thing on it. This copyright proprietor, blah, 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 copyright, 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 uh, copyright, copyright date, CBS Fox Video, South Pacific, Party Limited, uh, CBS Fox Video, nowhere on the label does it tell you what the hell it is. For that, you need the spine. And the spine got CBS Fox Video, SPFX, Runtime, rating, nothing about The Empire Strikes Back at all, and copyright underneath it. Got a little sticker I haven't peeled off over here in one of those stamps again from the video store. So an interesting item, kind of cool looking. PAL won't play in a US player or anything like that, but really neat as an addition here to again showcase the fact that SPFX, at least in other markets, did get its due and did get its own separate releases from time to time. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching and may the force be with the home video viewers.